So I've pretty much maintained my weight from the age of uh, 21 right now up to 35. Hey guys, Coach Jason here, back with another video and in today's video I'm going to share with you some of my best practices. Now these are the practices that I have been using since I was an airline pilot and I've pretty much maintained my weight for the last 10 plus years. And these are some of the things I have been doing. Now some of them are more recent, but in general these are some of the things I have been doing to maintain my weight. Now practice number one, drink a lot of water. And it might sound like a really simple one, but especially upon waking, you want to ensure that you get a large amount of water in, up to 32 ounces of water. And when you're taking in that water, you want to make sure at least one of those glasses is some warm water with about two tablespoons of lemon, not lime, lemon juice. And if you don't have the lemon juice, then you could squeeze about a half a lemon in it. Now what this does, this actually kickstart your body, it also has an alkalinizing effect and more importantly it helps to prepare your stomach for the food that is coming. Now lemon also has somewhat of a fat burning effect especially working around the stomach fat area so that's also an added benefit from it. And more importantly, it helps to clean your arteries. So using that warm lemon water in the morning is one of the practices that I've been incorporating, especially lately, I've been using that quite a lot. One thing I will let you guys know is that when you are using lemon water, you want to ensure that you're drinking it through a straw. And the reason for that is that lemon could damage the enamel of your teeth. So by drinking it through a straw, you are protecting it from direct contact with your teeth. All right, practice number two, cutting off late night eating. I, I aim for seven o'clock and lately I've been pushing that back to like 5 p.m. And what this does, you see when you cut off eating that late in the night, it actually prepares your body for rest. Because if you have food in your stomach going to sleep, then the energy that your body should be taking to repair, it is actually taking it to digest food. And as a result, all of the repair process is going to get pushed back which means that the next day you are going to wake up feeling lethargic. And one thing to note, your evening meal, you want to make sure that it is something light because as the evening progress, your digestive system starts slowing down. So if you are eating too much, then most of that food will not be properly digested and you're going to find yourself going to sleep with a full stomach. So the general rule of thumb is you want to cut off eating three hours before bed. And this brings me to practice number three. I practice going to bed before 10 p.m. And here's the reason why. When you go to bed before 10 p.m., the hours of sleep prior to 12 p.m., your body treats them like two. So if you go to sleep 9 p.m., from 9 to 12, that's three hours. However, your body will treat it as if it got six hours of sleep. Anything after 12 p.m., then your body just treats it as one for one. Additionally, when you go to sleep before 10 p.m., you also help with your body's ability to process sugars. Here's the flip side. Studies have shown that persons who reduce their rest or go to sleep late and sleep minimum hours, after a few weeks of doing that, will have the same blood sugar response as a person who is pre-diabetic. So by going to sleep late, you are actually putting your body in more of a fat storage mood and you're actually throwing your satiety or those hormones that help you to feel full, you're actually throwing them off. So you're gonna find yourself always feeling hungry and it doesn't matter how much you eat, you're never gonna be filled. When the next thing I do is try to exercise, especially if I'm doing it for fat burning, I always try to exercise on an empty stomach. Before going to work, I would actually go and do some exercise, whether it just be walking, skipping, and skipping has worked really well for me over the past few years, especially um, during my pilot career. Skipping has really worked well in keeping my body fat percentage down. However, I know I'm speaking to busy moms and persons of different builds, so skipping may not be ideal for you. But you can also do things like walking, like an early morning power walk does a really great job on an empty stomach because now your body has no choice but to tap into the fat storages for energy. 
and that would in essence give you a greater fat burn. This is something I've been doing working out on an empty stomach and it's really helped in keeping my stomach flat and also my body fat percentage pretty low. And then the last thing I do a lot of is weight training, resistance training. I'm a big fan of the resistance bands and if you guys have been following me for some time now, you guys know I'm a big fan of resistance bands. Why I like resistance bands? I believe my love for resistance bands started when I became an airline pilot. Because we travel so much, we were always in different countries and different hotels. Some of these hotels did not have gym facilities and I needed a way to still be able to train on the go. And that's when I found resistance bands. Now, resistance bands are super convenient because you can fold them, they're lightweight, durable, and very versatile. They can easily pack into my flight bag and I took them with me wherever I went. So it didn't matter what the hotel had or did not have, I was still able to do my workout. And even though I've left that type of fly now, I still use resistance bands from time to time because they give me such an amazing workout and I find the ability to transition between different workouts really works well with the resistance bands. So that's something I definitely incorporate from time to time. So ladies, hope you got some value from this. These are some of my best practices, some of the things I've been using over the years. And just for some background information, I actually started the airline at 185 and now I'm actually back to 185. So I've pretty much maintained my weight from the age of uh, 21 right now up to 35. So for the last 14 years, I've pretty much maintained my weight. All right, so these practices really do work and I hope you guys gain some value from it. More importantly, implement them. You don't have to do all of them. You can just pick one or two and start with it. If you guys have any questions or need any more details, just let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to reply. Coach Jason signing out. Until our next video, continue being awesome. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also that notification bell. It helps the channel to grow and we can also reach more influential people and bring that information back to you.